Hey, what's up guys? If you guys are watching this video, this introductory video to this tutorial series, you're probably uh, new to Laravel and wondering what this tutorial is all about. So I'm going to show you exactly what you're going to program and uh, this program tutorial is mind you a little bit on the intermediate intermediate level so if you are a complete beginner I want you to go and do my to-do list task application tutorial that I also have on my channel that tutorial will teach you the basics of the Laravel CRUD application system in about 30 to one 30 minutes to an hour so it's a really basic uh, concept and this tutorial is taking that concept one level further and adding in a few other uh, Laravel, fe Laravel features to create a micro blogging application so here you can see that we have a um, list of three pages worth of posts and it's about 25 posts that we have 22 posts and we have the visitor count visit counts we have the post dates and we have the comment count so if we go to this particular one there will be five comments and if you add a add another comment so that there are six post okay so that's what we want and if we go back home and if we go back to that exact same uh, exact same post I think it's I think it's this one actually it's uh, what happens is you have to refresh the page and once you're there after the post has been updated so if you go back here refresh refresh the page and then I come back here, refresh, whoops, something went wrong. If I go back here, number three. So now it's up to six po posts and the view visit count has also increased by five. So basically what happens is each time, uh, and we're adding if this is a Facebook comment system. And uh, we're going to discuss why a Facebook comment system is preferred over discuss uh, comment system. There's two different commenting applications that are wildly popular. I'm going to use one of those two and explain to you why I chose that one and that will be one of our tutorial videos in the future that's already made you can go watch that one specifically if you're interested only in that um, and basically each time we reload the page it uh, it checks for the number of comments updates the database um, and it checks for the number of visit counts and then it updates that in the database so in the database we have if we refresh this page um, I think the basically what we have is um, we have the uh, I think is I think this is the um, I think practice title extra body content. So I think this is the post that we just edited, and it has its comment count of six and a visit count of five. Now, if I refresh this page, this comment count should go up to six. So if I refresh that, yeah, there you go. It goes six six visit count and six comment count. So that's what you want. And um, if we go back home. And we go top 10 most recent posts, uh, functionality feature is working. So basically we can also sort by most recent posts, which is the default. We can sort by most number of comments. This one has zero visit counts because I I, up, I created the visit count feature after the comment count feature was created. So if we go back here and we go back here and refresh the page now, that should be uh, this one right here. So now it should be one visit count. So there you go. So now we have one visit count. So that's what we want. And um, so basically, we can uh, also go by top 10 most visited. So we have nine visits, six visits, the one that we just created, and two visits, and one, one, one visits. So that's uh, what we're going to have in the front end. And if we log in, we have a login system. And if we go, and this button appears once we log in, and we can go manage blog posts. We can add a new blog post. This is a introductory to intro introductory tutorial videos are important let's all make a lot of money all right so we go like that and you can only see the post that this particular user has created now this is user number one we have user number two who created the other number of posts and we can also delete posts so if we newest blog post this should be new if we delete that that's deleted so now if we go back to the public page if I just click on the URL because unfortunately I haven't created a button to go back there but if we go to view post we can go back home click this button and go back home as well so that's the uh, basic basic microblogging tutorial we're going to be creating we're doing some basic user data manipulation to show user data based on what they want to categorize by so that's the basis of this microblogging application tutorial so i hope you guys watch this tutorial and enjoy and learn a lot from it 
And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed your day, having a wonderful day. And I hope you guys watched this tutorial video. So I'll see you guys in this series. Thanks for watching.